What's good, y'all? If you don't know, my name is Desiree, and I do reactions to some of the hottest content out or whatever I feel is interesting. Um, today we're gonna be reacting to Khloe Kardashian speaking on why she doesn't want her daughter True to have sleepovers at her sister Courtney's house. Mm, it's about to be messy, y'all. The Kardashian-Jenner kids are known for having extravagant lifestyles <laughs> and, let's be honest, not okay. a lot of kids own $1,000 Gucci bags as toddlers. The Kardashians love That's spoiling toddlers. their kids, some more than others, and the parenting style of one sister is quite questionable. In today's video, why Chloe won't let her daughter sleep over at Courtney's, and how Courtney is ruining her kids' future. So without further ado, let's get into the the video. First off, let's talk about why Khloe Kardashian won't let her daughter True Thompson sleep over at Courtney's. Khloe and Courtney Kardashian recently appeared in an episode of Lie Detector Test for Vanity Fair. They both answered some pretty spicy questions and some interesting things were revealed. If you think Khloe is still sleeping with Travis, we'd love to tell you that she's not. And Courtney Kardashian doesn't know what Jeff Bezos looks like. One question that made headlines was Courtney asking Chloe if she would let her daughter, True, sleep over at Courtney's house. Chloe replied, probably not. Court then asked if she said no because they have too much fun, to which she immediately replied, no. Courtney then asked Chloe what the reason was, to which she said, I don't think we have enough time on this show for what the reason is. This leaves so many followers of questions with no answers. Court straight up asked Chloe why she was against sleepovers, to which she said, I don't hate sleepovers. So this definitely means something is wrong with sleepovers only at Courtney's house. We get where Chloe is coming from. Over the years, we've seen Courtney's parenting style become questionable, and her kids didn't turn out to be the best behaved. Chloe wants what's best for True, and we'll go more in depth further in the video on why exactly no one would want their kids to be in the Courtney Kardashian household that much. Not to mention, Kendall thinks Courtney's the worst parent out of all the Kardashians. Oh. In 2019, the supermodel appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden. She played a game of Spill Your Guts with British singer Harry Styles. Harry asked Jenner to rank all her famous siblings from best to worst parent. She ranked Rob as number one without any hesitation. She then ranked her sisters Chloe, Kim, Kylie, and Courtney as the worst of of them all. Many fans throughout the world agreed with Kendall. A year later, Courtney and Kendall sat down to talk about their famous family on an episode of Sibling Rivalry with Oliver and Kate Hudson. The incident of Kendall naming the eldest Kardashian sister was brought up and finally addressed. Courtney said that she was hurt when Kendall ranked her at last, and Kendall laughed it off by saying too. she ranked them as a joke and didn't mean it. The model continued and explained herself by joke. saying all her siblings were incredible parents, but she couldn't really speak for anyone as she isn't a parent. Courtney then got upset she as she said, said that. that she was the only sister everyone targeted. She added that she and Chloe were the easiest sisters to target target as no one said anything about Kim and Kylie. The runaway star then said that she spends more time with Courtney's kids, Mason, Penelope, and Rain, as she travels with the eldest sister more often than others. She then joked around and said Courtney is too lenient as a parent. Everyone agrees that Kim and Chloe are very strict parents compared to Courtney, who doesn't discipline her kids Kim too often. Up next, let's talk about Courtney's questionable parenting style and habits. Discipline is not a word in Kourtney Kardashian's dictionary. We've seen numerous examples of it on keeping up with the Kardashians over the years. Being lenient with your kids is- Sorry, but I just gotta say real quick, no discipline on your kids is not a good thing at all because then they grow up wild you know never having any consequences for their actions 
So, you know, even the best moms, even the best parents in the world have to discipline your child. And it doesn't always have to be spanking, but it can be something taken away, something that they value or something, but there has to be discipline, has to be. So that is not good. One thing, but being too lenient is never okay. So is her parenting caring or crazy? Well, one thing's for sure. Courtney loves her kids a lot, like every other mom. But where do you draw the line between loving them and being a little obsessive? It was revealed that the mom likes to keep a strand of her eight-year-old son Rain's hair in a safe on her nightstand Aww. to smell it. We think that's more on the crazy side. I disagree. I don't think that that's crazy unless I'm one of those crazy moms. But, you know, he's the baby. Her other kids are a little older. So I know from experience, you know, how quick your kids grow up. So like me, I have an 18, a 17, and a 13-year-old, and then I have a three-year-old. So from experience, I know how quick they grow up and how they get big. So little things like that is you cherish because you know from experience how big they're going to get so fast, like right before your eyes. So having a strand of his hair or whatever, so she can smell it is not a bad thing because that's her baby. She's probably not going to have no more babies. So, you know, she wants to smell his his hair while he was a baby. Yeah, get me? I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I don't see nothing wrong with that. Let's get back to it. Courtney encourages co-sleeping habits in her home. She likes all her kids to sleep on the same bed as her and said that this allows her to spend qual- Okay, I gotta stop it real quick. My bad, y'all. But um, I guess I'm a crazy mom because before I got into my relationship now, I used to love for my kids to sleep with me. My kids, they slept with me until they were all about eight, nine years old. So, dang, I might be one of them crazy moms, too lenient, maybe. I don't know. But so far, I don't see nothing wrong with her parenting skills. The only thing is no discipline. That's the only red flag I see time with her kids. Mason and Penelope love co-sleeping, but Rain doesn't have the same opinion. Courtney also didn't believe in microwaves and said she'd never buy one. She said that she did a There's lot of health-related research when she yeah. had Mason and decided to get no rid good. of the appliance because of its harmful effects. Acceptable. The American reality TV star also believes in breastfeeding her kids for as long as possible. There's a huge taboo when it comes to this. But Court breastfed Mason for 14 months and even wanted to go longer. Well, these parenting okay, habits don't weird. sound too bad, right? There's a reason why Kendall named her the worst parent, and you'll understand that very well by the end of the video. Moving on, let's talk talk about why Courtney She's is so ruining her kids' future. All the Kardashian kids are known for their lavish lifestyles and for attending extraordinarily expensive private schools. Being a Kardashian grandkid is no joke. Imagine being the heir to millions and millions of dollars, but there's a very thin line between spoiling your kids and loving them. Courtney's kids are very ill-mannered, and it's honestly no surprise surprise to us. That's We've seen good. Courtney being rude to her mom and her sisters many, many times over the years on their reality TV show. Court is, without a doubt, the rudest Kardashian sister, so it was expected that her kids are following in her footsteps. Now, if you compare her kids to other Kardashian kids, you'll see
big difference. For instance, Kylie's daughter, Stormy Webster, is known for her well-mannered behavior. She says please and thank you and is never rude. If you've seen Kylie and Stormy's cooking videos from two years ago, you know what we're talking about. Stormy was only two in those videos and is extremely polite. So yes, there's a big difference between her and Court's kids who have gone as far as hitting. Okay, I just want to say... The fact that they're comparing a two-year-old to how old is her kids to a nine-year-old is crazy because when kids are small, you know, when they're babies, when they're toddlers, they're the sweetest thing and they are polite. Well, I thought so, but it's as they get older, that's when the bad behavior comes. That's when the attitudes come. So, you know, I would like to know how her, how Courtney's kids were when they were two years old. I'm pretty sure they were sweet as well. And let's see how all the rest of the Kardashian kids act when they're nine years old. So when they're small, they're sweet. As they get older, they think they know it all and the attitudes flow in. So let's see in a couple years when all the kids are older, who is going to be more respectable or whatever their own mother yes we'll get to that in a bit it's safe to say that courtney is straight up ruining her kids and we have many examples of their behavior to tell you how firstly her kids are more spoiled than anything most kids that are the same age as mason 14 penelope 10 and rain 8 can only dream about wearing gucci and going on vacations now and then not only this but these kids hang out out with I mean, some of the biggest names in America, such as Justin family. Bieber. Even the Kardashian clan was shocked when they found out that the Tooth Fairy gave Mason a hundred dollars when he lost a tooth. Now, the Kardashians aren't shocked by extravagance too much, so you know it's serious when they are. The kids have clothes worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Chanel, Gucci, YSL, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Fendi, you name it, and they'll have it. You don't know a lot of 10-year-olds carrying Hermes Birkin bags, but Penelope is the exception. The kids are used to going on vacations in private planes a little too much. Courtney once took them to a lavish getaway in Mexico, where they were once again seen dressed as fashionistas in high and clothes. Fans also pointed out the extent to which they were spoiled when Courtney posted a picture of Penelope on Instagram. She was seen in her luxurious king-sized bedroom, fiddling with her iPhone with a face mask on over silk sheets and a $1.5,000 Hermes blanket. Next up, Penelope's anger issues like caused her to seek sweat. professional help. On an episode of The Kardashians, Courtney admitted that her daughter attacked a nanny. She also said she didn't know how to discipline Penelope as she didn't care about anything. No, see, now that's a big no-no. You cannot have your child hitting the nanny, hitting adults, hitting people, period. So that is the second thing I don't agree with so far. Everything else is fine to me anyways. But the fact that she don't discipline her kids and her child is hitting the nanny, that's a no-no. And she definitely needed to get disciplined because she's going to continue to do it. She might start hitting teachers or, you know, other students. So that's a no-no. Mm-mm. -no. I don't agree with that. She said for Mason, it's simple because she can take away anything he likes, but she couldn't have physically taken anything away from Penelope that would affect her. This truly showed how much Courtney disciplined Penelope as she was growing up, because not knowing how to discipline your six-year-old daughter is a major red flag. This means Court has never tried to discipline the little girl and lets her do whatever. And to make things worse, Courtney said that the nanny should have said something 
happening at the moment. Courtney completely flipped the situation to make it look like the nanny wasn't doing her job properly. But we all know that her children's lack of discipline is the main issue here. Courtney also revealed that Penelope has major anger issues and blacks out whenever she's mad. Considering that Penelope was only six years old at the time, this is wrong because no six-year-old should have severe anger issues to cause blackouts. No. At this point, Courtney should have considered professional help for yeah. her daughter to discipline her, but yeah. instead, she defended her. She also said she did the same as a child and would often slap her nannies. <laughs> Not a thing you would want to pass on to your kids, Court. Moving on, yeah. Rain mm -hmm. isn't the perfect child, too. Rain is the youngest of all of Courtney's kids, and just like his elder siblings, he's ill-mannered too. Chloe once called him out on their show because he was being unnecessarily rude to his mom. He was even seen hitting his mom, and Courtney oh. still did absolutely nothing yeah. to discipline him. Mm -hmm. Not only this, but Rain has been seen flipping off paparazzi several times in public. Not to mention, he's still only That's eight funny, years but... old. It's Lastly, Mason doesn't go by rules to too, as he has many times exposed his famous family on social media. You probably remember Mason's infamous Instagram live stream. In the live stream, Mason publicly said that Kylie and Travis weren't together anymore, making all his family members liars who were saying quite the opposite. He has leaked his family secrets by making several other fake accounts, and it's safe to say that he's definitely not the favorite grandkid. Courtney's kids are on the road to ruin, and only discipline can save them. Makes sense why Chloe doesn't allow True to sleep over at their house. Well, that's a wrap on today's. Okay, I mean, I get it. You know, she doesn't want her sweet little innocent baby to be influenced by bad behavior. And if you don't discipline your kids, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a whole bunch of bad kids. So I get it. I mean, a lot of the stuff I, I, you know, feel people are overreacting, but yeah, you definitely got to discipline your kids for sure. If not, they will walk all over you and think they can do whatever. But listen, I'm going to always speak my mind. I'm not a yes man. I speak what's on my mind and I'm a real person. So you know, I agree with what I agree with and I don't what I don't. But anyways, if you like this video, if you loved watching the video with me, please hit that like button so I can grow and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And also love and blessings and peace.